and keep that vibe from a side down. You are there, ladies and gents. How's it going? I'm out on the beater. Life's better on a beater. And today, I am answering a challenge that I've been set by several motor vloggers. I believe three, but I can't remember who the third one was. The most recent one was a paddy out back. And prior to that, Hold Your Fire did many moons ago. Um, and I can't remember who the third one was. I don't know if it was R-rated customs or someone else. I really can't remember. So I apologize for not remembering that. But anyway, what is it I've been nominated for? I've been nominated to do the Moralogged 3x3 challenge. Although, going by the train, maybe it should be a 4x4. <laughs> oh, God, I love laughing at your own jokes, Billy. <laughs> but yes, I'm out green landing with Big Pezza. And I'm here to answer my 3x3 challenge. So what is this 3x3 challenge? Well, I imagine most of you Moralogged have already heard of it and are possibly sick of it because it's been doing around for a while now. I'm just really slow on the uptake because I had other bits and bobs to do. So the 3x3 challenge is, I have to tell you three things about myself that you possibly didn't know, and then nominate three other motor bloggers to do the same. And since I was nominated by three, I guess that's the uh, 3x3. Uh-oh, keep staying on, Pez. <laughs> One foot dabs. Okay, my turn to do the same. <laughs> um, yes, so my 3x3 three three challenge is being quite distracted <laughs> by muffiness. <laughs> right, so things you don't possibly know about me. Um, well, I know most of you probably realise I was in the Royal Navy. And some of you may even know that I was a submariner. But what did I do when I was in the Royal Navy, in the submarine service? I was a sonar maintainer, an artificer, although that's what I joined up as, but the branch changed, turned into engineer technician, which I, yeah, swings around about to whether I approve of or not. But for me, it was amazing. It changed my life. I had no hopes, and then all of a sudden I had loads. And all of a sudden, I ended up where I am here today, riding around on motorbikes, having fun in the mud <laughs> but yes so i was a sonar maintainer on the vanguard class submarines which are the nuclear deterrent subs all our submarines are nuclear powered well these ones had the nuclear missiles the bringer of rain the bringer of death and all that shenaz <laughs> so yes i never went to war because if we go to war things are generally not very good for the rest of us where's he taking me <laughs> around a wild goose chase that's what it is <laughs> okay so that's the first thing you possibly don't know about me I was a sonar maintainer now when you're on a nuclear submarine you don't just do a job you have a watch keeping position too so my watch keeping position while on that submarine was driving it so I can drive a nuclear submarine. I don't think I've got that endorsement on my driving license though. <laughs> but I, I was quite good at it. Even my coxswain who hated me, he even had to admit that I was pretty good at it. I think it was just that I paid attention. A lot of the others got too busy spinning dicks and yarns. Okay, so I don't know if that counts as number two, or whether that still counts as number one. So yes, we shall have to see. See if I can think of another two things or not. <laughs> yeah. So item number two on my list of things that you might not know about me. I know you all know I like motorbikes, and I definitely like motorbikes. But my first ever track day, I broke my back and my pelvis. Fortunately, 
who's on the last lap of the last session. Just let these guys sort their dogs out. Cheers! Yes, so it's my first track day. It was up at Cadwell Park. And I'd had a blinding day, I loved it. It was probably one of the most exciting days of my life. It was bloody amazing. But I had to go and ruin it by doing the last session of the day. And I was a little bit tired. I should quite possibly have just called it quits, the one before. But I was still buzzing. Come around Park Corner, I think it was, on the last lap. I uh, high-sided exiting. And apparently, according to the marshal, I came down with snow on. <laughs> so I must have gone quite high. Now I stayed conscious for the whole thing, um, but it was all a bit of a blur, because it was all quite tumbly, as you can imagine that. Around 80, 90, possibly even 100 miles an hour. I have no idea what speed I was going. I was actually on an R6 uh, cut race bike, which I'd hired for the day. So I didn't even damage my own bike. Fantastic, eh? That's, if you're going to hurt yourself and other people's things, um, make sure it's a hired bike rather than someone else's bike on a track day from you being a tit or something Ooh, There's a shoddy gear change Yeah, so that's um, item number two. Did it stop me? No, did it help? Even while I was off work, I managed to get myself a GSX-R750, a brand new one um, I had the Triumph Street Triple at the time No, I had the Triumph Speed Triple at the time and uh, yeah it wasn't sporty enough, so I got myself a GSX R750, which was most definitely sporty enough. And I found myself doing a track day on that while I was still off work, sick. <laughs> and apparently that was fine because the doctor said I could ride motorbikes, so no. <laughs> I don't suggest you do that unless you've got very understanding bosses. Oh yeah, good paddles. Oh, here we go again. Uh, good paddles. Uh, good paddles. Jeez, the wheez with your soggies. Whew. Okay. Oh, I've got a wet foot. <laughs> Pez is still coming. I'm just going to get to this paddle here and hang about waiting for him because he's got road tyres on. He seems to be coming along okay. <laughs> no dramas? Huh? No dramas? No. <laughs> How's your tyres? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yep. I'm just stop behind. Oh cool. Alright, splooshtastic! Okay, so that's number two. We've done number two. Things about me that you might not have known. So what is number three? What is number three? Um, well, I guess we'll keep it vehicle related. Up until that day, that motorcycle, that R6 track bike that I'd hired, I've fallen off every single motorcycle I've ever owned. <laughs> Can you believe that? Me falling off my bikes? <laughs> yes, um, I haven't had a very good history with motorcycling. Uh, apparently I had to learn my lessons the hard way. <laughs> that was a big drop <laughs> for me anyway. Is he coming along? Yeah, he's coming. Um, yes, I've started off with many motorcycles from 50cc, 100cc, several 125s, a 200cc. Um, 250s, 300s, all sorts. I've worked my way through all the CC classes pretty much, all the way up to super bikes and beyond with some of the weird things I've had. Even the Triumph 1050 speed triple that I had that I didn't want to take on track, I even crashed that. Not very badly, it was stupid really. I fell off looking to see what my mate wanted who was annoying me by shouting at me, Pete, Pete, Pete. And what he was trying to tell me was that there's normally a speed trap up ahead. And I knew there's normally a speed trap up ahead because it's a route that I used to ride all the time. <laughs> um, 
and as it was I looked around to see what he was after and uh, yeah target fixation I drifted into the kerb and tumbled off the bike at about five miles an hour into the biggest pile of dirt you could ever see so yes motorcycles I'm really good at them <laughs> now I hope you found this interesting or entertaining but it's a little bit silly now because this challenge is quite old now I had to search quite hard to find some people that haven't done it yet in my well, watch list in my subscribers list of the people that I subscribe to and there isn't many left there's not many left at all so who are we going to nominate we're going to nominate a brand new motor blogger she's quite wonderful she's from Greece and her YouTube channel is eTales travel vlogs or something like that I'll put a link to her channel below I might even try and put one in the annotations at the end if I'm able Ugh. don't look down at your camera when you're going downhill that's a silly idea I'm going to fall <laughs> too fast let the bike run away from me there but I didn't die no one died right so what's your pace when you're going downhill on scraggly horrible stuff that was hard work I'm tired I'm gonna have a, a little break before we go to a puddle yes so e-tails link in the description below she's awesome she's a new motor vlogger she hasn't got many subs um, she rides a small little Yamaha I think it is um, but she puts English subtitles on her videos and they're really quite entertaining she's been to some lovely places um, and she does some quite nice edits with the equipment that she's got which is quite cool so definitely check her out oh my word get your breath back Petey okay um, so who's next? okay so next on the subscriber shout out list this is deeper oh dear it's Captain Cranky go on Cranky my son give us a 3x3 three three. there's a 3 I know you're a little bit of a larger channel than a lot of the others but we'd still love to hear some things that you might not have told other people yet be really awesome now those of you that haven't discovered Captain Cranky already he's a fantastic Aussie or Irish now living in Oz motor vlogger that does very adventure motor vlogs Jesus I've got burps got burps um yes he's an awesome guy to follow Jeez. <sighs> oh. <laughs> you can go first. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh, I was being a wuss. Easy. Oh man, I'm letting myself down. <sighs> got scared. I got scared for no reason. I found the walk crossings easier than downhill muds. Oh. There's a log there. Oh. Yes, so that's Captain Cranky. Check him out. He's bloody awesome does adventure stuff um, yes he's very cool now third is someone I've mentioned on my channel before and again he's another motor vlogger that I've never met up with yet which I must address that situation and that is Garden Shed Vlogs he's from up in the Midlands-ish and uh, he does some pretty adventure stuff too he likes to go on big trips biking holidays and what have you after a little bit of a layoff earlier on in the year um, 
he's getting back into the swing of things and he's just got himself a new V-Strom which he had briefly for a while before and got rid of it because he wasn't getting on with it but it turned out it was something else that was a problem so he traded it for the wrong bike and now he's got another V-Strom again and V-Stroms are very good I think if you want an all-round bike to do absolutely everything on I think they're pretty damn top of the list especially if you're on a budget or just don't want to throw money at something that you might well drop if you take it off the beaten track now I sort of mentioned a bit about garden shed stuff in previous videos when I've been talking about it. but he's a very good guy and definitely definitely worth having a follow-up any houses where are we at I think Pez struggles for grip along here so he's letting me go in front of him okay so let's give this little video a close out shall we if you haven't done so already please do click that subscribe button it'd be great to have you come back and watch more of my random ramblings and if you enjoyed this video whether it was the dirty stuff of riding this bike around here the beater, the bike itself or even just hearing a little bit about myself then uh, give the video a little thumbs up too if you didn't, it's all good, give it a little thumbs down, I'm fine with that but please, whatever you do whether you like or dislike it drop in a little comment let me know, let me know what you enjoyed we can have a conversation, a discussion maybe you are a submariner a weapons engineering artificer or just someone with a beta out 4.0 all of them are cool in my book as are every single other person that takes the time to watch my content anyways we're at the end of the trail so you ride safe take care and I'll catch you all in the next one Bye for now. Keep that bar. Drop it aside. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar. Drop it aside.